New tonight, keeping people off your private property is a little easier in South Carolina now. 7 News' Alessandra Young explains how a little purple paint goes a long way. Instead of using the no trespassing sign like you see right here, people in the state of South Carolina can now use purple paint stripes to mark their property. The South Carolina Forestry Commission says the paint can be a way to make sure your signs don't get damaged due to weather. Governor Henry McMaster signed the law into effect last week. Just another way of marking your property because I think we were having uh, some issues throughout the state with people pulling down the trespassing notices. Sheriff Jeff Bailey with the Union County Sheriff's Office says you just have to put the paint on an immovable object. This is more of a permanent way of, of marking your property. He says the purple stripe should be at least eight inches long and two inches wide. He says the bottom of the stripe should be between three and six feet from the ground. It's a better way to identify property lines and uh, I, I think overall I think it'll be good for the for the people uh, when they mark their boundaries. And the marks should be no more than 100 yards apart from one another. Sheriff Bailey says trespassing complaints are something his deputies deal with regularly. People get into disputes and and a lot of it is over property. And so uh, you, you'll have a lot of these calls. Normally, he says they like to give a trespassing notice because some people may not know they're on private property and homeowners have to make sure their property is marked correctly. They can do it on their own. Just they don't have to notify us. So, you know, that's one of the things. If somebody's caught trespassing, we're going to look if the property is, is actually marked the correct way. So if you have the notice or you have the purple paint now, then we will know the property has you know, been properly marked. Mackenzie Grady has a lot of land in the county. I live on 83 acres. She says there are tons of property with no trespassing signs. There's a bunch out here actually. A lot of people have private property. But for her property, she says she thinks she'll stick to the signs. Definitely no trespassing for sure. I don't know. I just I feel like people wouldn't abide by just a purple stripe. But however you choose to mark your property, Sheriff Bailey says the same penalties for trespassing apply. It's still the same trespassing charges. Uh, still carry the same penalty and all that, but it's just a different way of marking the property now that people can't destroy. Sheriff Bailey says if you get a trespassing charge, you could be facing a fine or up to a 30-day jail sentence. In Union County, Alessandra Young, 7 News. And for more visuals on how the purple paint should be applied, head to WSBA.com.